You know, back in the early 60s, a phenomena occurred in music that we now call the British Invasion. And the lads that created this music changed not only the course of rock and roll, but our lifestyles and our philosophies as well. Now, it seems that the new wave and punk bands of both England and America are discovering this music over again. Now, we've asked two of the founders of British rock to come down and tell us about the way it was and the way it is. Peter Noon was the leader of Herman's Hermits, and Spencer Davis led the Spencer Davis group. Here are Peter Noon and Spencer Davis. Hello, everybody. I'm Peter Noon, and if you don't remember me, maybe you remember Herman's Hermits. Take a look. Same as the first. I'm an irradiate, I am. An irradiate, I am, I am. I got married to the widow next door. She's been married seven times before. And every an enemy, enemy, wouldn't have a willy or a sap. I'm a right old man, I'm an irradiate. An irradiate, I am. This evening I'd like to introduce an old friend of mine, somebody that I first saw on the stage when I was 12 years old in Manchester, and his name's Spencer Davis. Hi, Spencer. Hi, Pete. How are you doing? I'm very good. Well, I remember the first time I saw you, I went to a club straight from school, and you did an all-night session, and uh, all you played in those days was just the guitar, and you did a lot of old blues songs, which was where I think all English rock and roll got their roots from. Yeah, like Donegan, you know, that's, in fact, I got a lot of stuff through Donegan. This is one of the old things I used to do. <laughs> coming from a completely di different direction because I couldn't do any of those uh, black singers at the time so we formed a group that specified on we only did Buddy Holly Bobby V because we could sing do you know old boy do you remember the song well, Buddy the Holly was uh, one of my idols too um, in fact the first single I ever recorded when I was 16 it was a 78 and uh, old boy was on the A side and midnight special was on the B side and, Great. Uh, all my love, all my kissing, you don't know what you've been missing, oh boy. When you're with me, oh boy, do it. The world can see that you were meant for me. Great. Oh, that brings back some memories, because the music business has completely changed in them since those days. When I was 13, I formed my first band at the school of music i went to the school of music and we all got together with a little band and i sold newspapers on set to completely finance the band you know i went i went and signed my father's name on all the credit forms oh. and they sent you know all the bills would come and i'd pay the bills cash at barrett's in manchester you know all those little things and we financed the band really for about 15 pounds a week 15 pounds is what 30 dollars every week i mean nowadays there's no way you could get a band on the road for 30 pounds what can you say? Yeah, that's true. I was uh, uh, the president of the Rhythm Club, which, or the Jazz Club in Birmingham University, and uh, so, you know, we, we used to ask the members of the club what bands they would like to have on. So we would phone down to London and get a band to come and play at oh. Birmingham University Union, and then we'd book ourselves on. That's how we did it. And I was a teacher in, in Whittington Oval in Yardley. I was just waiting for a... To, I was going to continue and do my PhD at McMaster University in Hamilton, Ontario. I was going to leave England and come over to Canada and do it. But then uh, we started rocking and rolling on the weekends, and Great. suddenly, I mean, there's one story that's got kind of exaggerated, but I remember one of the kids in my class uh, said, uh, woke me up, because you know, I was drifting away. I'd just come back from Trent the night before, and uh, it really got to the point where the headmaster of the school came up to me and said, uh, Spencer, uh, you, uh, you have to, uh, you're at a point in your life where you must make a choice. You're either going to be a school teacher or you're going to be a pop singer. Working on a
Okay, before we go, what I'd like to hear is the original version of Midnight Special that you used to play that was the B-side of the 78. Do you remember 78? I certainly do. I'd like to hear that. I'm going to try and sing it with you. Let the Midnight Special shine a light on me. Let the Midnight Special shine his ever-loving light on me. Well, I think the new one's better, don't you? Yeah.